Kinnick. The one car of Truett, the 17 car of Kenseth. Mark Martin getting his car woed down. These guys are three wide off the corners on a real green racetrack. Probably pretty slick. And look at this. We've took out one, two of the chase contenders already. Martin Truex hoping for a caution so he can get back in the lead lap. Watch a 21 car. It's like Michael, Kenny Schrader got alongside Michael Walter, but just got loose, spun the car, and they all start spinning to avoid him. And look at that. They just all pirouette side by side. The 17 car, the 38, the one car, the double zero of David Rudiman. They're all in valve. That now it's all smoke. Nobody can see anything. They keep plowing into it. And when you're a driver, that's your worst nightmare where you can't see when you're going that fast. Now watch Tony Stewart in the 20 up behind the one. Let's see how he's able to snake his way through. Wow. He got up underneath that one car, but it looks like he got through clean otherwise. Danica Patrick, Landon Castle tangled up. Castle going for a slide. Yeah, we did not hit anything. Did Patrick not hit anything. Wall. like Danica had a chance of not hitting anything with this back up on the track. Well, rule number one of stock car racing is learn how to wreck someone without wrecking yourself. And she gets in on the bumper and but just mm. doesn't get off of him. Right, right there where you're talking and you yes. just turn it left and lock it down. And she had a chance to not go up hit that wall if she just stayed on the brakes and kept it down there. Hmm. It's like she's trying to save it just kept driving it until it uh, hook to the right yeah at that point right there is whenever you should just as a driver realize that this is a spin lock it down and you can come get four tires and that's uh, the kind of things that you'll have to learn with these cars double turn two brian vickers caution flag is out a hard crash for brian and you can see right here is brian vickers he's sideways it looks like he's trying to save it oh my look at this little oof. Kenseth scooting by there. What a terrible crash. And that's just what's happening. Yeah, with this tire and this track combination. And those cars, when they break loose, they just snap around. But they got oh, trouble again off. off turn two. It's like Paul Menard. Three cars involved this time. Make it four. Hey, guys. We got caught up in it. He tried to get down, and they, they, they carried off of him. See Joey Logano getting through there to 71. Bobby Labonte involved. Menard sitting on the racetrack trying to get that refired. Max Pappas involved. There is Bobby Labonte, the former cup champion. Split is rolled up. All left front. Split is rolled up. Almost the exact same thing we saw happen to Logano. It's been the trouble spot, it seems, between the center of turn one to the exit of turn two the entire week here. See Kyle Bush makes a man, he just barely missed that. Spin, smash, crash. Huge. Kyle Bush's bad day continues, and he got Joey Logano as he was sliding down off the wall in turn number four. Nothing Kyle could do. Joey doing everything he could to avoid him, but could not. Let's see what happened to Kyle Bush and how Joey Logano got involved. Riding with Danica Patrick, it's up ahead. You'll see Kyle, the car just snaps out from under him again, like it did earlier in the race. Stay to the bottom, stay to the bottom. All clear, all clear. And it no down the down hill, himself. and when it does, Joey Logano was trying to get by on the inside. You'll see Joey coming along here. Thinks Kyle's going to stay up next to the wall, but the car comes down, and that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Joey was all the way on the apron. Here's Trying that. to get past Paul Menard, A.J. Allmendinger spins, oh, and no. Al Geyer and Gilliland have a horrible collision oh, right at no. the start-finish line. Oh, that's bad. It is David Gilliland's car that comes to a halt in flames, well, he's all in but there destroyed. Paul Menard, the 27, is the car that's backing up. Here comes Allmendinger to the inside. At the left side, right down on the line down there, and the car gets a little squirrely with him, gets a little loose, and here we go. And it's on. Boy, when he comes down the hill and There's hits that Paul 51, Gaier. and that turned him in, that turned him right into a Gilliland yep. when he did that. 
and I, it was a hard, hard impact. You saw Allgaier get clipped by Almendinger, and watch that red car shoot across the track right into the path of David Gilliland. And I guarantee you, Gilliland was on it, trying to get through it without getting in it, and he didn't quite make it, and that is unbelievable crash. Here comes the 22. He's closed the gap all over the back bumper now as they've caught this slower traffic. And around goes the 20, sideways in front of the 22. Kansas slides, caution comes out. The 22 was all over the back bumper of the 20 as they entered turn one. I got flats on a couple of first time. Joey spun me out, lifted my tires off the ground. We mentioned the lap traffic you see right here. Matt Kenseth gets tight. He knows the 20's coming, so he tries to block. He goes to the apron. He knows the 22's coming up. He comes up to block him. A big block onto the 22, and the 22 drives in, catches him in the left rear quarter panel, spins the 20 on Matt Kenseth with a great save to stay off the wall, but the damage to the points and the ultimate win has been done. The 20 will have to come get tires. His chance to win today is over. And Matt Kenseth had to do everything he could to block, the, block him. Just like I said, he's racing for his championship. If he doesn't block Joey Logano, Joey Logano gets on the outside of him and gets around him. So you can't blame Matt Kenseth for trying to block. Hang on right here, bud. 